Uh, there's nothing like looking outside uh, and having a morning coffee. Mm. My hair is getting kind of long. You know, you know what? I got a scissor around here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> you know, I really just sometimes your hair just starts to get a little too long. <sighs> uh, nothing like a haircut and coffee in the morning. Need more light in here. Let the light come into my dungeon. Oh, much better. Now, if you don't already know, my boat's sitting right there. We done almost sank not too long ago. The whole transom is messed up, cracked. There's cracks below the water line. The engine's about to fall off. The brand new 2020 engine that I just put on it is falling off of it. But I got a guy coming later today. I'm gonna get a quote on rebuilding that whole engine. That's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be cheap. And the fun doesn't stop there. So I'm probably boatless for the next month, maybe two months, hey, maybe three months. But the fun does not stop there. Old Sheila over here. Oh, she ain't running either. Damn, that peacock bass uh, fishing video I uploaded a couple weeks ago. She was having some troubles. She wouldn't start in park. Yeah, she would only start in neutral. Now when I'm driving down the highway, if she's in drive, it just pops right out of drive and goes into neutral. She ain't driving anymore. But don't worry, I'm bringing her to the shop. So I might have a car again in about a week. I'll have a boat again in about a month, two or three months. It's okay. These things happen. So this morning I do what I do every morning. I pace around my man cave with my coffee and I try to figure out what can I make a super sweet episode about that my fans are gonna love. Great question, Heiko. So I'm turning the lights on. Oh, damn, that's bright. Because in this episode, we're gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna show you some cool new gadgets that I got. That's a little TV screen. I'll show you some new things that I've been working on. We're just gonna have a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna tell you guys how you can be in one of the next South Florida Fish Channel episodes. But before I tell you how you can be on the next episode, let me show you a little something. Just well, one of the little things that I've been working on back here. And that's this guy right here. My new fishing bow. Because I want to do some bow fishing. And oh, look at this. There's a box on my table. I'm not going to lie. I kind of have... I get boxes showing up all the time. When it's windy outside, like it's been windy lately, you know, you kind of just sit at the computer and before you know it, you're on Amazon and, and other websites and you're kind of just start pushing that ordering button. So let's take a look in this box here. Let's see, what's the best way to open this one hand? Oh yeah, this is a new camera that I got. Yes, propionic acid. Oh, it's in a glass bottle. Now, what the heck am I gonna do with some acid? <laughs> uh, hit that subscribe button because you're gonna find out in a future episode. But let's sling some arrows real quick, then let's shoot some stuff, and then let's get together on an episode. Now this is a recurve bow, and I'm used to shooting a compound bow. So I'm not gonna lie and tell you I'm an expert. I don't know, I might shoot a hole in the ceiling, but at the end of the day, if you're shooting, it's a good day. Let's see if I can hit that target down range. Why don't we just shoot a bunch and see how I do? Now, some people call this instinctive shooting because there are no sights on this bow. You basically just kind of look at the target and let your arrow fly and... But I'm not gonna call this instinctive shooting. I'm gonna call this, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing shooting. You know, an old man once told me, if you don't let the arrow fly, it's just gonna stay in your quiver. 
I think what he meant by that was if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Let's take a look at my terrible grouping. Uh, huh. Well, I mean, <laughs> that could use some work. To be fair, I was extremely camera shy and those were the first shots I took today. Usually I need a good 10, 20 shots to warm up. So, I mean, if I just remove this one and stick it here, stick it in there, you know, remove these, you know, stick all these in this hole. Man, this grouping's starting to look a lot better. All right, come here, come here. Look at all this fun stuff I got. This right here, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on this, but it's basically a camera. I can take it out of the damn box. For the record, I'm holding a huge camera with one hand and my hand is starting to shake because this camera is so heavy. Come on! Okay, there it is. Yeah, that's a camera on a really long line. And whatever the camera sees shows up on this screen and I can record it. Right now I'm looking for someone that has a very dirty hole I can drop this camera into. Maybe like a well or something with fish in it. I want to go out to the reef, maybe drop it on some reefs. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't have a boat right now, so coming soon. If you got a weird hole in your backyard, let me know. I'll come there and drop this camera down there. We'll make a cool video. Maybe there's some treasure somewhere. We'll move our little camera out of the way because the moment y'all have been waiting for, the Umarex Gauntlet Air Gun. It's not a real gun. It looks like a real gun, but it's an air gun. It shoots the little little pellets, you know, like Red Rider BB gun. Don't shoot your eye out. Now what actually inspired me for this segment of this video was right now my pellet gun video, can a pellet gun kill a hog video, is outperforming every fishing video on my channel. If you take the five best fishing videos on my channel, in the last 28 days, my air gun video got more views than all those videos combined. This is a fishing channel. And everyone wants to watch the air gun videos. So I thought, you know what? Let's have a little fun. Let's get the air gun back out. Let's shoot some stuff and uh, bring a tang tang. Let me show y'all what I got set up downrange for this super exciting extravaganza. I'm sorry if you're a bush fan, but we're about to blow up a couple bush cans. Now these are all full bush cans. They're not empty. Leave a comment right now. How many bush cans do you think this pellet's gonna go through? Two, one? Four? All five of them? I have no idea. I'm gonna say it's gonna go through at least three of them. The beer in these is definitely gonna slow the round down a lot. But let's get to it and let's fire off a round. All right, cameras are rolling, baby. We'll chamber around. Oh. Ooh, that, it, ooh, I always get excited when you do this. I don't know why. Okay. Oh no, one of my cameras just stopped recording hold on a second all right test two just had to put all new batteries in the gopro rookie mistake rookie mistake y'all ready for this i forgot to load a round into it my magazine's right here okay <laughs> take three oh uh, typical yeah. if you want to know what the south Florida fish channel is about this right here about sums it up Let's check that out. Wow. Mmm, smells like bush light. That can got wrecked. That can got wrecked. Oh! Those two cans got wrecked. Where's the fifth? One fifth can unwrecked. I'm not sure if it didn't make it through that last fifth can because maybe the pellet was a little off to the right or the left. Bam! Woo! -hoo. I love slow motion. Mm. I'll make some more videos, a little more in depth where we dig into this stuff a little bit more, but this is just for fun here. I have a hollow point round and I want to know 
what a hollow point does to an avocado. Let's find out. Holy smokes, do you see this? There's avocado guts on the GoPro. That's how you know you're having fun. How about an egg? Damn it, I was setting up the egg to shoot it. And I dropped it. I'm gonna have to get another egg now. Just like that, I got another one. <laughs> that egg went ka-splat! Oh man, my GoPro is covered in egg juice. This video is gonna be two hours of editing and five hours of cleaning up after myself. Story of my life. So in my backyard here, we get a lot of invasive species like uh, certain doves, the iguana. They go into mangroves and they eat the eggs of blue herons egrets and all the endangered birds here. So FWC actually encourages the eradication of these things. So I don't know about you, but after that shooting, I'm thinking we need to do a little more air gunning. Backyard catching cooks coming real soon. Whew, I'm getting excited. Wow, what a beautiful day. Another video idea we got coming up. I've seen some big old sharks just right off my dock here. So I'm gonna put a big bait out, tuna or something, wait for a shark to grab it. And then I'm gonna grab my rod. I'm gonna grab a paddle board and I'm I'm gonna go for a ride. I got a big old list of things that I wanna turn into videos. I'm talking about all sorts of things. I got a whole gun making kit here. Uh, not gun making, bullet making. We'll be making our own ammo. And of course, there will be fishing videos. I got a whole bunch of fishing tutorial videos I'm working on. You know, there's just a little update, a little fun update video for you guys. Cause I was a little sad about my boat breaking and my car breaking down and everything breaking down around me. Sometimes in life, you just gotta switch things up a bit. So I thought I'd have some fun with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's talk a little bit about how you can be on my next episode. I really do get a lot of emails from you guys. This is what a typical email will say go something like hey man i love your channel i just got a new boat i'm gonna be down in the keys sometime in january would love if you came and joined me i get a lot of those and i think it's really cool that you guys want me to come fishing with you but here's the problem and here's how if you want me to come on your boat or come on some kind of adventure whether it's hunting or maybe something completely new maybe we'll go treasure hunting out in the jungle or something the best way to approach me is i'm a very what's that word where you, where you do things on um, impulsive, not impulsive, uh, short notice. I'm very short notice. I do a lot of random things, whether it's traveling or trips. So for me to think one month, even like two or three weeks ahead of time, it's very difficult. And then I don't remember who wanted me to go fishing where and when. The best way, if you want me to film an episode, whether on, on whatever adventure you might want me to join you on, hit me up like one or two days before. Shoot me an email. Email is the best way to reach me. Heiko at SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Write me an email and say, hey, tomorrow morning, we're heading out of this port. We're gonna go sword fishing. We'd love to have you on. Because the moment I get that email, I can be like, I ain't got nothing planned tomorrow morning. I'll be there. And it's very easy for me to agree to trips like that. It doesn't even have to be the next morning. It, even if it's in one or two days, that's fine. But that is the best way. If you wanna get on a South Florida Fish Channel episode, have some kind of trip ready and just hit me up short notice, shoot me an email with your phone number in it too. Because if I can make it work, the first thing I'll do is just text you, be like, hey man, I just read your email. I'm a free tomorrow, let's freaking do it. Kablam! Obviously I'm desperate for content. Look what I just did here, I made a mess of myself. Cut my hair, blew up eggs all over my wall over there, shot some arrows into the wall. Ugh. I wanna give a big thanks to all you guys because you guys make this happen. You guys make me enjoy doing this crazy stuff. I love every second of it. And I wanna spend more time with you guys, with my fans, film some cool stuff. So that's how you can get in the next episode. Shoot me an email if you ever have a trip lined up and we'll try to make something work if i can't make it work you know keep trying because sometimes you'll just get me on the perfect day it just you never know you never know i'm still waiting for one of you guys to email me with a big old dirty hole i can drop that camera into <laughs> anyways cheers guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the very next episode cheers <laughs>